we have the 12 GB, 256 GB version of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G here today to thoroughly test out its build quality in the bent test. Supposed to be the strongest armor aluminum frame Samsung has built till date. The scratch resistance of the new Victus Plus glass production. First time to be featured on the S22 Ultra. And of course, to test the IP68 water resistance one hour inside the freezer and to see if the stylus or S Pen works underwater or not. The S22 Ultra 5G is by far the best flagship we have held this year. The burgundy color variant looks very elegant, mistakenly named as dark red on Amazon. Amazing set of cameras on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The camera system is one of the best you can get on a flagship today compared to even the iPhone. And you also get that extreme maximum of 100x zoom which was on last year's S21 Ultra 5G as well. But the S22 Ultra also has that same frosted glass production at the back which was a fail on the S21 Ultra in the scratch test. This time we have the upgraded version of the Corning Victus glass production called the Victus Plus. A huge f2.2 40 megapixels wide selfie lens with auto HDR and dual video call. The primary lens has a f1.8 108 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL HM3 sensor, a 10 megapixel f4.9 periscope telephoto lens, another 10 megapixel f2.4 telephoto lens, and for super steady video, a 12 megapixel f2.2 Sony sensor ultra wide lens. As we mentioned earlier, the Galaxy S22 Ultra has Corning's new and upgraded Victus Plus tempered glass production at both the front and back of this aluminum metal glass design. The back glass is frosted to give that matte finish great at avoiding fingerprints. But the big issue with frosted glass is its poor resistance to scratches due to which it consistently fails a scratch test in each and every flagship we have tested with frosted backs, including the Note 20 Ultra, last year's S21 Ultra and also on flagships from other brands like Xiaomi's Mi 11 Ultra 5G. So frankly, this time also, we are obviously not that optimistic about the frosted glass on the $1200 S22 Ultra as well. We expect it to fail again. Absolutely spotless on the camera unit lenses and on the dynamic AMOLED display. And as expected, the frosted Victus Plus glass fails again. Permanent marks which are more prominent and visible this time. Next, on to fun stuff with value, the bend test for the structural integrity and build quality of devices. We are expecting the strongest version of a Samsung flagship till date since the Galaxy S22 Ultra has the armored aluminum frame newly introduced for the first time. Hardly any flex or bend degree from the first display side bend. The S22 Ultra feels like a tough as nails brick as of now. Again, no kinks, significant bend degree or cracking sound from the second frosted side bend and no signs of any fatigue on the new Superman strength armor aluminum frame. Samsung has outdone itself on the build quality front with an amazing super strong structural build. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G passes the build quality bend test with ease like a true champion flagship. Ok, so now on to the water test. We will be checking to see if the stylus or the S Pen works underwater or not. If you remember, it didn't really on the previous notes. Then after, we will be marinating it underwater for an hour inside the freezer to hard test the IP68 certification. But first, let's test for the presence of oleophobic coating on the Corning Victus Plus glass production and see if the Samsung S22 Ultra 5G can handle rough splashes as well as an IP68 rated flagship should. We are going to completely forego the light splashing ground directly onto heavy drenching in light of the IP68 water resistance. After testing many flagships throughout the years, none of them have failed or faced any kind of problems, at least in the initial rounds of water abuse. 
Of course, we had a bit of hiccup with a Mi 11 Ultra free stress, though fortunately all was well in the end. Just a slight temporary effect on the audio and a quick recovery but all of the heavy splash abuse did not make even a dent of difference on the S22 Ultra 5G as expected of an IP68 flagship device. So it's time to start the timer before the 1 hour underwater freeze test and as is traditional on the channel, let's toss the glassy freaking S22 Ultra inside water for some IP68 fun and marination which hopefully does not turn into an unexpected first time disaster. Of course, the stylus does not work as far as riding underwater is concerned. But as you can see, the S Pen does actually work inside water for normal browsing actions. In fact, it works just as efficiently underwater as it does outside of water, a marked improvement in S Pen technology. So for the freeze test, let's stuff the glass container with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra inside the freezer and let it hang out there for about an hour. As mentioned earlier, the only hiccup we had with the experience of freezing flagships was the Superphone Mi 11 Ultra which suffered from temporary issues and some battery drainage during the freezing. Not a pleasant sight for a flagship. We are expecting a much better experience with the S22 Ultra and as a confidence booster for you against liquid damage, here is the grey rubber sealant on the SIM tray. Meanwhile, 2,000 years later, 8.01 p.m. Just a few minutes left to complete the one hour mark inside the freezer. The S22 Ultra 5G as of now seems to be alive and well. Twelve seconds later. So the S22 Ultra has finally crossed more than one hour inside the freezer and it's time to check if it has suffered any kind of temporary or permanent damage to the camera lenses or any physical functionality and hopefully not died on us. Looking good as new, the audio has gone off at this point of time after the freeze test. But the rest of the functions including the S Pen seems to have survived the underwater abuse. The camera lenses had some temporary fogginess to it but a bit of wiping and with time things should get back to normal within a few seconds or minutes. Also the audio issue was quickly solved by some rough shakes to the S22 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G has passed a 1 hour underwater freeze test since it has been one of the best implementations of IP68 liquid and water resistance we have seen on a flagship smartphone from Samsung.